Welcome to The Know, I'm Brian. I'm Ben. So we have a big controversy today, kind of, it's been going over the last couple of days, over a sale on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, you might remember this game came out September 14th, so about a, a little over a month ago now. Oh man, it's only been a month? Yeah. We've had so many games I come know. out. I know. It feels like it's been months. But on October the 16th, about a month, just a little over a month after the release, the price got cut on Steam, so it was $60, you know, standard new game stuff. Usual game, game price. To under $40. So wow. So a, a $20 price cut in a month, and fans who bought the game, originally the day one fans, the, 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 the first fans who uh, purchased it, were pissed. It got review bombed. Game Informer notes that since the cut, 66 of the reviews on Steam have been negative. They've all mentioned the cut. Now, the sale is over now. It ended today. It's back to normal, so you missed it. Oh, no. Yeah. But uh, so let me read some of these reviews just to see, show you, to Play it illustrate on me. Yeah, how let me, this. Let me see what the, the reaction is. This from Moonshadow on Steam. First and foremost, I feel I have been ripped off. An object lesson in how to shaft your loyal customers who are dumb enough to pre-purchase. See, this is probably when people say you should never pre-order. Yeah, this is part of that. There's no good reason to pre-order. Uh, I, I know most like game companies do that right nowadays to give you, like the incentive there is like, oh, you'll get this skin or something cool. Right. But there's not a lot of payoff for ordering yeah. day one or before day one. Steam user Faith said, I just say what others say, and they are right. I bought the game for full price. If I knew that the game goes on sale after one month, I would wait. Instead, I feel like I was tricked. Uh, unlimited terror. Discounted already? Are you joking, Square? Well, if this is how you treat early adopters, then I won't be buying another Tomb Raider game unless it's heavily discounted from now on. So I think the big question here and what we should talk about, was this too soon for a, a price cut? I, I did definitely think it's too soon for a price cut. I definitely feel like these fans are justified in, in how they're feeling. It's, it's only been a month. Yeah. I think there's a lot of reasons why there's a sale right now. Uh, just because, like we mentioned earlier at the top of the, the show, there's a lot of games out right now. Yeah, uh, if you if you think back, so this game came out a little bit after Spider-Man. Spider-Man came out the beginning of September, mm -hmm. and I think Tomb Raider came out like, like a, a week, week later. After. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then after that, um, you had, you know, pretty, fairly soon after, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, now we've got Black Ops 4, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming very soon. So, it is crowded. It released in a crowded field, and I feel like, this is one of those games that definitely might have gotten lost in the shuffle. It's we're we're having a really good problem right now in yes. like just games in general, and that's just that there are a lot of games coming out, which is cool. But right. that problem there then is if a game is good but not great, it's gonna have a hard time standing toe to toe with those like AAA titles. Yeah. For instance, like if you haven't picked up Tomb Raider yet. We know that Red Dead comes out at the end of the week, right. and I haven't right. picked up Tomb Raider yet, and I'm not going to pick up Tomb Raider until probably Christmas or Thanksgiving when I have time to sit down and really like play that game, and I'll just probably grind through it. And also, though, you would the benefit of waiting is you know it's going to be on sale. Yeah, like, you know they're going to cut it for like the holidays. Exactly. Like I haven't even picked up Assassin's Creed Odyssey yet. Right. And I know that that's kind of one of those games right now that's doing so well. I don't even know if it'll get a discount yeah. uh, come the holidays. It probably will. Yes. Uh, and that's probably when I'll pick it up, but just right now, like even that game is doing really, really well. And I mean, we'll see. To, to wait, to, to, to only wait a month before this big of a price cut, $20, uh, to me it feels like Square Enix thought, maybe it's not doing as well as we wanted. Uh, we made our first month sales, but now let's try to, you know, goose those numbers up a little bit. And I've, we've, I've heard nothing but good things about the game. Have you really? Uh, yeah. yeah, I've heard a lot of really, really good things. I heard like before the day one patch, there were some issues from yeah. reviewers, but for the most part, it's, I've heard it's a solid game. Like it's a fun game mm -hmm. to jump into and play through, uh, but kind of like I mentioned, there's just not a lot of competition between everything happening in all the events in Destiny 2 right now, or right. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and uh, like Red Dead's coming out at the end of the week once again. There's you, so much. Have you been grinding the Halloween events on Destiny 2? I've been doing nothing but playing the Halloween events in Destiny 2. To get 2. that gun, right? <laughs> get, to I, get the horror story. I want the gun, and I really want yep. the, uh, the cat ghost shell. There's a lot of really, really awesome cosmetics uh, oh, I want. I need to get the cat ghost shelter, but mainly the gun. Exactly. Uh, all right, we're, we're getting off topic. When should, when do you notice, when do people usually cut the price of a game? So it's like, obviously most of them are $60, a AAA game, it's $60 to launch. 
to me, it seems like most of them wait a few months. Like you sure. might have to wait like, I, I don't know, three, four, five months to get that first significant price cut. So I feel like we have a lot of games that drop in like August, September, October, November, yep. we're seeing right now. Right. Uh, and then the ones that usually drop in November, so like Assassin's Creed uh, Origin or Odyssey that's yep. dropped right now, Origins was the last one. Um, Red Dead, we probably won't see discounts on those games. Yeah. And even if we do, it'll probably only be like $5. Five bucks. Yeah. Not a lot. Uh, and those usually happen in like the PlayStation and Xbox sales, like the whenever you have the big holiday sales. Right. And they right. usually, I think that's the gimmick of like, oh, we can show this title in our trailer and maybe we'll pull people in and they'll see, oh, Tomb Raider is $30 right but, now. But the new ones, the new games also usually get the smallest cuts. You know, like yeah. uh, those are the ones, yeah, to get the, the $5 cut, whereas like a game that's a year, two years, those get like cut Hard, to shit. Yeah, yeah. slashed. Um, but if you look at it and you look at the games that haven't been selling too well, yeah. they'll usually get a little bit more of a price cut whenever the holidays roll around. That's true. Uh, but yeah. even then, that's still a few months If for something like right. Tomb Raider. I'm expecting to have that holiday cut. Right. But like a month after, that seems a little... That feels... If I had bought the game day one, I would feel kind of bad. I would... Yeah, I would be mad. Especially I would be mad. If, especially if I bought it and hadn't played it yet. I'm like, fuck, oh, I, just left, I just left $20 on the It would just be table. sitting in my backlog, yep. and that's another $20 I can throw at any other game that's coming out this I month. I definitely have games. Uh, Persona 5, still have not pay, played it. Paid full price every yep. time I see a sale on it, I want to slash my wrist. I don't don't tell anybody. Uh, I haven't finished Spider-Man yet, because I just there's so many games you to play. Heard right here, you heard I, it here. I haven't finished Spider-Man. I haven't I've finished Spider-Man. Spider I haven't finished yeah. it either. There's just so many good games. Well, like, the, but, but like stuff like uh, in Destiny 2, like, I got to grind for that gun because the window's going to close. And even then, like, there's just, there's, a lot of really good. It's a good problem. We it's should also problem. add there is an exception here. Nintendo never cuts their prices on N anything. Yeah, Nintendo very rarely has their sales. But even then, like I'm keeping an eye out for something like Tomb Raider to come on, and yeah. I can yep. pick that game up. Um, I'm 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 interested to see what, if Square is going to put something out saying why they uh, discounted this game on Steam. And this is a Steam only thing, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah I, I don't, don't think, think it was on. on I didn't see PS any discounts for PlayStation or Xbox, but whew. here's another question, Ben. Is this another reason to never buy day one stuff? Because there are a lot of people out there who will tell you never buy on day one. You're getting an inferior product, you're paying full price. If you wait, even a few months, they've smoothed out the bugs, they patch shit wrong with it. And if you wait long enough, you can get all the DLC. You know, there's all kinds. And so there's always like an exception to the rule, right? Like Red right. Dead, super hyped game that is probably yes. gonna do very, very well. Right. Um, I don't see that down the line, anybody having like major negative reactions to that game probably save to pick up day one. But there's not a lot of benefits to buying a game, pre-ordering it or buying it day one. Uh, even a, a game that launches at say midnight, unless it's something I'm, I have a lot of hype for or like it's an established brand that I know is yes. probably gonna be more of the same. Yes. Um, at midnight, I'll wait and say, okay, next, tomorrow morning I'll wake up, I'll go to work on a Friday. Because I want to be the Thursday. first to play this. Sure. So I need to get my hands on this. And I'll wait and let everybody else play it, and I'll go home, and if at like 6 p.m. that day, oh, yeah. I've, I've gotten home, and like all the reviews have been good, I'm like, cool. Like, I'm not super backlogged right now. This seems like a fun game yeah. to jump into. Uh, I, I feel like for a lot of games, though, and I think this is one of them, you're paying a lot of money to be a guinea pig. To, to find the bugs. <laughs> and to, 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 to do be that QA, voice. To do QA for them. Sure. Kind of. Like, you, you you are that voice for the, like, day one buyers, the yeah. early adopters, and, like, you're the ones that are yelling into the void to the company of saying, like, hey, this is broken, it needs to be fixed, or, hey, this assault rifle is overpowered, please nerf right. it or buff it, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Or, uh, or you're the ones to sort of tell your friends if it sucks or not. Exactly. And to me, that's a huge, that matters more than anything else to me is word of mouth. Uh, what people I respect, you know, are saying. Because I don't know if I can always trust review scores. Maybe they're inflated. Maybe they don't want to piss off the developer. But if, like, if you tell me, like, eh, it's okay. Right. And I, I think kind of we're seeing some small marketing strategies come from these game companies to get people to buy a game early. Yep. Uh, things like uh, that early release window. I think even Tomb Raider had that release window where if you bought a certain copy of the game, yes. you got access to it four days early. Uh, oh, right. The, the, and, yeah. yeah, you mm -hmm. could play it early via EA Access or, or uh, whatever version you've purchased. And uh, some other games have done that as well. I think up to like two weeks early. I can't yeah. remember the game that did it. Um, that, to me, if you're a really big fan of a game, is almost worth it. Right. Uh, but once again, you're taking that risk of, oh, this game has a lot of bugs and it's actually really, yeah. really bad. Why did I buy this day one? Or right. 
get early access to it. Right. But then game developers also run that risk of if the game's really bad and someone has two weeks early access to it uh, and that word gets out, everyone's going to cancel their pre-orders. I wonder, too, if this will do damage to the Tomb Raider games, you know, because you had that one person said, I'm never going to buy another Tomb Raider game unless it's discounted. Yeah. You know, is it? I mean, this is going to, this is going to, uh, people will move on, but but I wonder if people in the back of their minds, especially these people who paid full price for it, are going to think. I bet they will wow. remember. Yeah. Uh, I'm interested to see what they're going to do for the next one, because I know this game is kind of concluding the trilogy of like Laura's yes. Rise. Yes. Uh, maybe they'll continue with a new trilogy, like a new kind of storyline revolving around something else and still have Laura in yeah. there. Yep. Um, but I'm sure this is going to leave a mark on a lot of people's memories for people that purchased it day one. I just thought of this. I just had a brilliant thought. They should do something to make Make it up to these early adopters. Give them, give them a break on if it's if it's DLC. If there's DLC coming, give them a break on that. You know, if sure. you bought it between. I don't know if they can do that, but I remember like uh, with the 3DS when it first came out. I remember the ambassador program. Oh yeah, because uh, I think they cut the price or something. But they said if you bought it at the beginning, we'll give you a bunch of free NES games. They weren't great, but it was something. It was it was a nice little. They could. You know, I nod. doubt they'll go the route of like discounted DLC just because once again if you bought the game day one at $60 and like I still don't know if that's enough of a yeah of a pay, like are they going to give you just the DLC free I don't know what that payback's going to be in terms of like no just say it's only five bucks for you for you five dollars yeah. but right now they're like for you full price <laughs> that's their that's their that's, uh, the MO. that's their philosophy. Well, what do you guys think? Um, do you think the fans got ripped off? Uh, do you feel justified? Are you one of the people who bought Shadow of the Tomb Raider early? If so, we definitely want to hear from you down in the comments. Keep it right here. Like and subscribe. But more importantly, go to the no.tv. You can find us there too.